This chapter will begin by discussing the postulates of quantum mechanics. A postulate is something which is not proven to be true, but is just taken as given to be true, and then judged whether or not it's true by the validity of its predictions. So starting with postulate one, postulate one of quantum mechanics is that the state of the system is completely specified by the wave function, psi of RT. So in three dimensions, this would be a function of x, y, and z. In one dimension, r would just be x. So it's a function of some spatial dimensions and time. And also that psi star times psi times the volume element, so complex conjugate of the wave function times itself times uh, whatever volume elements you have in your spatial positions in three dimensions, that's dx, dy, dz. In one dimension, it's dx. That this is equal to the probability that the particle is in this volume element, dx, dy, dz, at the position r at time t. That was the Born interpretation that we previously discussed in previous videos. Okay, so uh, measurable properties in classical mechanics, things like energy, momentum, position, angular momentum, kinetic energy, potential energy, those are all what we refer to as observables. Those are things you can measure and observe the value of. So if we know the wave function as a function of space and as a function of time, then we know all observables of the function in quantum mechanics. Anything that you can observe in classical mechanics, any measurable property can be is known exactly if you have the exact wave function of the system as a function of space and time. This is analogous to in classical mechanics that if we know the initial position and initial momentum of a particle, so we know where it is and what direction it's going, and we also know all the forces that are acting on it over time and over space, then what we know is the trajectory of the particle. We know where it's going to be at all points in time, its position as a function of time. So in classical mechanics, the trajectory, if we know that for all points in time, we can calculate any observable property. And in quantum mechanics, if we know the wave function, we can calculate all observable properties. Okay, because of this probability interpretation of the wave function, that's the probability that the particle is at r at time t. So for a given time, if we integrate the complex conjugate of the wave function times itself over all space, this kind of triple integral here over x, y, and z if it's in three dimensions, an integral like this would be minus infinity to infinity in x, y, and z, that this has to equal one. So the probability that it's somewhere integrated over everywhere has to equal one, has to equal 100% chance of finding the particle somewhere in space. We could also replace this integral, this triple integral over all space by this symbol here. This r with the extra slash by it indicates all real numbers, means negative infinity to infinity, and the cubed meaning in three dimensions. So in x, y, and z, we're integrating from minus infinity to infinity, d tau in this case being dx, dy, dz, our volume element d tau. So similarly there, integral over all space in three dimensions, psi star psi is equal to one. Okay, I think I mentioned uh, that fact there, that integrating r to the n is n dimensions of integrating from minus infinity to infinity. The last restriction that this postulate and interpretation places on the wave function is that psi must be what is called normalizable. So this me must also be a, a criterion called square integrable. That means when we take the square of the function and we integrate it over all real numbers, if it was just an f of x, it would be one dimension, so just integral over all real numbers, that the result must be a constant which is less in magnitude than infinity. So for example, the function x squared could not be a wave function because its integral over all space is infinite. So we need something whose integral over all space is a finite number, something like e to the minus x squared. So those numbers have, those functions like that have a finite value for what their function squared is when integrated over all space.